Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we thank God for bringing us together as one community of faith to be renewed by His Word and by His body and blood. The year opens with the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. Just as mothers are always the first to touch our lives, so we begin our spiritual journey under the loving gaze of Mary, the Mother of God and our Mother. Let us entrust to her our hopes and fears our joys and sorrows. Today, we also celebrate the World Day of Prayer for Peace. May the Savior of the world, who brings God's peace to His people, bless all of humanity with the gift of peace. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us in His mercy. May God bless us in His mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May He let His face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. May God bless us in His mercy. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. May God bless us in his mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May God bless us in his mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also, an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told about them, that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. And uh, I am very happy to celebrate this first Mass here at the Cathedral on this New Year's Day, this beautiful morning of the first day of the year. I am thankful for all of you who have uh, maybe come from other parts of Metro Manila and even outside Metro Manila who have visited us here in the Manila Cathedral to celebrate the New Year. And I would like also to thank those who are outside the Cathedral and joining us in this celebration of the Mass, and even those who are watching the online broadcast of this celebration. I am happy that I am together with this community in celebrating the Eucharist to thank God for this new year. And our gospel reading today is also significant because it tells us about the eight days after the birth of Jesus. Kung bibilangin po natin, simula noong araw ng Pasko, ang araw ng kapanganakan ni Jesus, ngayon ang eighth day, or what we call in the liturgy, the octave of Christmas. And in the tradition, at that time, the eighth day after the birth of the firstborn is also the day when the baby is circumcised and also named, given the name. Sa araw na ito ay nakikita natin sa kwento sa Biblia na sa ikawalong araw, si Jesus ay tinuli at binigyan ng pangalan. According to the Gospel passage today, He was named Jesus. And this name does not come from Mary and Joseph. According to our Gospel passage, it was the name given him by the angel before he was even conceived in the womb. Bago pa man ipinagbuntis ni Maria, bago pa man ipanganak ni Maria, ay binigyan na siya ng Diyos ng pangalan. Yan ay ang kanyang pangalan na 
Jesus. And in the tradition at that time, being given the name is being recognized. Recognized by God. Kapag binigyan ka ng pangalan, ang Diyos ang nagbibigay ng pangalan sa iyo. At kinikilala ka ng Diyos. Ikaw ay may pangalan. Ikaw ay mayroong identity. Ikaw ay mayroong misyon. The naming of the child is a blessing from God. God recognizes Jesus. God recognizes Jesus as a blessing to humanity because of His mission. That is why in our Gospel reading today, when the shepherds came to Bethlehem and saw the baby in the manger, they also recognized Jesus, the baby in the manger, as the blessing from God. They were so happy to see the baby lying in the manger. It was not only God who recognized the baby Jesus. The shepherds recognized the baby Jesus in the manger. And Mary, keeping all these things in her heart, also recognized the blessing of the baby, Jesus himself. My dear brothers and sisters, this morning, let us also recognize first Jesus as the greatest blessing that has been given to us, especially at the start of this year. I know we are looking forward to a year of abundant blessings, but all these blessings will be useless if at first we do not recognize the baby, Jesus himself, as the greatest blessing given to us by the Father. And so, at first in this celebration of the Mass, we recognize Jesus as the greatest blessing given to us. But our second reading today, from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, teaches us that in Jesus Christ, we also receive adoption as sons of God. According to the second reading today, if we have faith in Jesus, then the Father adopts us as His children. That is why God sends us His Spirit, the Spirit of His Son, so that we could call Him Abba, Father. When we have faith in Jesus, God also recognizes us as his children. He does not call us slaves. He calls us his children. If the Father recognizes Jesus as the blessing that he gave to humanity, we also as Christians, in our faith in Jesus, recognizes us today as his children. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, allow God to recognize you as blessings. Naisip niyo na po ba minsan yan? Na ikaw mismo ay blessing ka? Kasi baka ngayong bagong taon, ang dami nating iniisip 
ang dami nating tinitingnan na mga blessing. Oh, I want this new car. This is the blessing that I am praying for. I want this job. I have been praying for this job. I want this watch. This has been my dream to have this watch. I want this phone. I have been praying for this phone. I hope I could receive this blessing. Ang dami nating tinitingnan blessing, pero nakakalimutan natin, tayo rin. We are recognized by God as a blessing. If the Father recognized Jesus, His Son, as the greatest blessing He gave to humanity, then we as Christians, we are also called by the Father as His children. We are also recognized as blessings. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, God recognizes you as a blessing. You are a blessing. Therefore, live your life as a blessing. Sana po mga kapatid, ngayong umaga na ito, huwag nating kalilimutan, hindi lang ang mga bagay na nakikita, na hinihingi o tinatanggap natin ang blessing. Kilalanin din natin ang ating mga sarili na tayo rin nilikha tayo ng Diyos para maging blessing, maging biyaya. Because, my dear brothers and sisters, if things pass through us and we do not live as blessings, then the blessings we will just keep to ourselves because we do not recognize ourselves as blessings from God. Kapag dumaan sa kamay natin ang blessing at hindi natin kinilala ang ating sarili bilang blessing, nako, hindi magiging blessing yan. No? Itatago mo lang para sa sarili mo. Siguro ho kagabi ay nabusog ho kayo ng mga pagkain sa medyanoche. Kaya ko alam ko na kapag 8 a.m. na misa, kakaunti pa lang ang nagsisimba dahil marami sa atin ay busog pa. No? Siguro ko mga busog pa tayo at medyo aandap-andap pa ang ating isipan no? dahil sa kabusugan at kasayakan kagabi. Naalala ko minsan, nung kami mga bata, may isang medyanoche na nagpabili ng lechon ang aking tatay. At ang sumundo ay yung mga uh, ibang uh, kasama namin sa bahay. Excited kami sa pag-uwi ng lechon. Kaya lang, pag-uwi ng lechon half-dressed na ang lechon. No? Wala na ang kalahating parte ng balat. No? Kaya sabi ko nga, ang biyaya kapag dumaan sa maling kamay ay hindi nagiging biyaya. Kaya ngayong umaga, mga kapatid, tingnan natin, hindi lang yung pagkain ang biyaya. Hindi lang yung mga regalo ang biyaya. Tayo ang biyaya. Kapag kinilala natin ang ating sarili bilang biyaya, kapag dumaan sa kamay natin ang biyaya, ay lalong nagiging biyaya sa iba. We are the blessings given by God. Let us try to recognize, uh, recognize that this morning. That is why when you give food, To people, to people who are corrupt, they will just keep the food to themselves. They will hoard it and even sell it at, an, at a more expensive price. If you give money to people who are irresponsible, 
and not accountable, then the blessing of money will be a curse to the nation. If you give arms to people who are violent, who are tyrants, then he will just dominate and become a tyrant to his people. My dear brothers and sisters, at the first day of this year, let us first recognize that we are the blessings given by God. Let us first recognize ourselves as the blessings so that we could also share the blessings to others and the blessings will become more true to others if it passes through the blessing of people. Our first reading today from the book of Numbers is the blessing of the Lord given to Aaron so that they could bless the people of Israel. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He let His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May He look kindly upon you and give you His peace. What a beautiful blessing given by God to His people. But let us remember that this blessing is given to the people of Israel so that they also could become a blessing to many nations. Remember what God said to Abraham? I will bless you so that you will become the father of many nations. The blessing is not only for you and your family. The blessing you will share to everyone. You are the blessing. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, later, when you go home, or even here in the Mass, when we give peace to one another, recognize that the person beside you is a blessing today. God recognizes us as blessings. Let us live our life as blessings. Nilikha tayo ng Diyos bilang biyaya. Isa buhay sana natin ang pagiging biyaya. I would like to recognize the many blessings God has given me this morning. All of you who attended the Mass physically here, sabi ko na kung may kausap kaya ako bukas sa misa ko, no? kinakabahan ako dahil alam kong maaga, mayroon namang dumating. Kaya salamat sa mga biyaya. Salamat sa mga nanonood sa atin online, sa mga naglingkod sa atin, mga lectors, uh, greeters, ushers, lay ministers, altar servers, mga puyat pahuyan, pero alam natin naglingkod sila. At higit sa lahat, pinasasalamatan ko yung biyaya ng choir. Kagabi ay katext ko yung organista natin. Sabi niya, Father, mukhang magko-concert ka bukas. Ako, <laughs> bakit? No? Dahil hindi ko alam kung may kakanta bukas ng 8 a.m. No? So, tayong dalawa. Ako ang tutugtog, ikaw ang kakanta. Kaya kanina narinig ko may, may choir. Salamat sa pagpunta. No? You're singing yourselves. You are blessings today. What a wonderful way to celebrate the new year. That we do not look only on things as blessings. We recognize ourselves. We recognize persons as blessings given by God. Buti na lang ang pinakadakilang blessing na binigay ng Diyos, si Jesus, ay dumaan sa kamay ni Maria. Mary, the mother of God. Mary, who was a blessing recognized by the Father 
called by the Father, chosen by the Father. She became a blessing. She took care of Jesus in her womb. She saved Jesus from Herod. She taught Jesus and brought him to the temple. Even until death on the cross, Mary was there. Mary was truly a blessing to the life of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the New Year's Mass, allow God to tell you today, you are a blessing. Let us live our lives as blessings from God. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The new year ushers in new challenges and opportunities, as well as new hopes for a more lasting peace. Let us pray to the Father that the Prince of Peace, born of Mary, may guide us as we struggle to incarnate the gospel values in our lives. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Pope Francis, all the bishops, priests, and deacons. May they be instruments of peace and unity in communities where hatred and division reign. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray our country, the Philippines. May God give us credible, honest, and God-fearing leaders who will truly work for the good of the people, especially the poor and those in the peripheries. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are broken in spirit, mind, and body, especially our brothers and sisters who were affected by the recent typhoon. May God be their source of consolation and peace in these trying times, we pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, especially those suffering from COVID-19. May the intercession of the Blessed Mother strengthen them and fill them with courage and hope. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. 
In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our intentions and the intentions of all who ask for our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our humble supplications. Help us to spend our whole life in your service and to bring peace to our brothers and sisters. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Oh, <laughs> 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Father calls us his children. And so, in the spirit of Jesus Christ, let us now call on him as our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, I would like again to thank all of you who have joined me in this celebration, for all the pilgrims who have come here to visit us here at the Manila Cathedral, the Shrine of Our Lady, the Immaculate Conception, and today we celebrate as Mother of God. I would like also to thank the thousands who are joining us through the online broadcast of this Mass, not only from the Philippines, but in different parts of the world with our fellow Christians, fellow Catholics, and fellow Filipinos who are living abroad. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikiisa sa ating pagdiriwang ng Misa ngayong unang araw ng taon. At salamat din po sa patuloy po na pagbibigay ninyo ng tulong at suporta sa Manila Cathedral. Sa araw po na ito, ang unang araw ng taon ng 2022, ay nais ko pong kilalanin kayo mga followers ng Manila Cathedral bilang mga biyaya ng Diyos para sa amin. Salamat po palagi sa inyo sapagkat mahal na mahal ninyo ang Manila Cathedral. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year, now and forever. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity, with holy patience to the end, now and forever. Amen. May He order your days and your deeds in His peace. Grant your prayers in this and in every place and lead you happily to eternal life forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maligayang bagong taon po sa inyong lahat. Happy New Year po.